I'm Dr. Mark Attella, and I want to welcome you to our discussion of reference alphabetization, so the problem of brown, brown, and browning. But let's get started by saying please buy my books on APA style. So I have three books which will help you improve your writing. What about same and similar last names? So many students have questions about what to do when authors have the same last name, like Brown, that's Charlie Brown there to the right. I don't know if he writes a lot of books though. Or similar last names like um, Brown, Brown with an E on the end of it and Browning. And complicating all of this is when there's no last name at all. Now, to give you this information too, since we have Charlie Brown up there, most people think that Charles Schultz was Charlie Brown, that he was writing as the protagonist, but he actually saw himself as Schroeder and Lucy was his first wife. And I've garnered this from a biography on Charles Schultz, which is actually very good. What do we do if we have a work with no author or editor? So it should be alphabetized in that case by the first important word of the title. And so a brown pelican marks the spot, from 2012 that is actually a fictitious, I just made that one up, but it would be alphabetized by Brown because that's the first meaningful word of the title. Now, I also want to say that uh, although the book is fake, Brown pelicans are real and it's one of the only three pelican species that exist in the Americas and they actually uh, eat by diving onto their prey, which is, I think, pretty cool. What about multiple authors with the same last name? So uh, we alphabetize them by their first name. So that is Amanda Brown, who you may or may not know from season three of The Voice. And so this is a, a fictitious book that maybe she would write about Taylor Swift, A Study in Genius, uh, by Way Back Bay Books. What about a second person named Brown? So she would be listed in the references ahead of best-selling author Dan Brown because the A in Amanda comes before the D in Dan. And so, um, yeah. And so even though the T in Taylor um, comes after the A in Angels, we um, do the alphabetization by the author's first name. What about if uh, there's no author? So if we include our book on brown pelicans, it would look um, like that. And so this is important too, because again, the uh, P in pelican comes after the D in Dan. And so that's why um, brown pelican comes after Dan Brown's book. What about multiple books by the same author? So Dan Brown's a prolific writer and he's written more than just angels and demons. For example, his first book was the techno thriller Digital Fortress in 1998. And so that's what the reference for that would look like. And I guess I should talk about this too. So it's author's last name, um, first initial, the year of publication, um, and then the title of the book in italics, and then the publisher. Um, but you'll notice too, that Digital Fortress, when it's used in a sentence, is uh, both are capitalized, but in a reference, uh, Fortress is um, um, not capitalized. And that's the difference between title case and sentence case. I have another video about that if you're interested. So if we have multiple books by the same author, the book that's published earlier goes before any books published later. And so Digital Fortress comes before Angels and Demons in your reference list, even though the D in Digital comes after the A in Angels. So it's done chronologically. Now that's a poster for the Da Vinci Code, which I have not actually read or seen, um, but I imagine that it's like a mashup of Castaway and Amelie because those are the two actors who are in it. What about similar last names? So Jackson Brown, who you may or may not know, um, he's a singer songwriter from, he's a, from the boomer era. Um, and so this is a fictitious book that he wrote called Still Running on Empty. He wrote like, Take It Easy. He wrote that song for the Eagles, um, Somebody's Girl. And so you may or may not know who, who he is. Or what about Elizabeth Barrett Browning? And so, um, this is actually a reprint of her books, which was originally published in 1861. Um, her husband used to refer to her as his little Portuguese, 
And so that's where that comes from. Um, you may be familiar with her writing, um, her sonnet 43 from Sonnets of the Portuguese, uh, from the Portuguese begins with, um, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. And so uh, it's kind of worked its way into the, the culture. But this is how we would um, rep or alphabetize these. And so the idea is that nothing precedes something. And so Dan Brown does not have an E at the end. So Jackson Brown comes after him. And then Elizabeth Barrett Browning's book um, would come third. If we put it all together, we can see that Amanda's Brown, Amanda Brown's book comes first, then the two Dan Brown books by the year they were published. A Brown Pelican follows that, Brown with an E after that, and then Browning um, comes last in the reference list. Now, I don't know what paper would ever have these sources, uh, some of which are fictitious, but that's how you would do it if you wanted to put them all together. Let's conclude by saying thank you for watching this and good luck with your writing. Uh, there's many more videos and other materials available at APA Central, and so I hope you come visit us online there. But have a great day.